Pam Bondi is exactly what I was saying in the last segment that we should all fear because she's competent. We may not agree with her ideologically, but she actually knows how to do this job. So if anyone on the Democratic side or anyone who cared about liberty or justice was thinking, well, maybe Matt Gates will screw this up and that'll give us some time. No. Donald Trump didn't hold back after the announcement that Matt Gates was no longer in the running for attorney general. He quickly revealed his new pick for the position, Pam Bondi. Bondi, the former attorney general of Florida, made headlines when she defended Trump during his impeachment trial over the Ukraine phone call, securing a win for him. Now with this latest pick, the media seems to be in full panic mode, with some even wishing Gates was still in the mix. Let's check out the clip and see what all the buzz is about. Pam Bondi knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing about immigration. Remember, Florida is one of those states that's been very aggressive about migrants and deportation and moving people to different states and everything else like that. Florida has enacted all sorts of rules and laws to uh, to curtail students and, and what they can do on campuses and, and, and finding legal justifications for manipulating education money. She is a dangerous and effective pick, and that's frankly, worse than what we would have got with Matt Gates, even with the deplorable moral background that he has. Yeah, and I want to discuss that uh, with a little more depth with both of you, including her record on civil rights, uh, LGBTQ rights, and other issues that are front and center at the DOJ, and which we know were also big campaign issues this cycle. The point being made here is clear. Pam Bondi is seen as a more competent and effective choice compared to Matt Gates, and that's causing some serious concern for those who oppose her ideologically. The fear isn't just about her qualifications, but also about what she might accomplish in areas like immigration, education, and other hot-button issues. I get why people on the other side of the political aisle might be worried. Bondi has a track record in Florida of pushing policies that align with conservative priorities, whether it's on immigration crackdowns or education reforms. The underlying issue here is that some folks were hoping for someone less capable in the role someone who might stumble or delay certain policies. But with Bondi, those hoping for delays might be out of luck. Love her or hate her, it sounds like she knows what she's doing and is ready to hit the ground running. At the end of the day, the real question is whether her approach and policies will resonate with the broader public or create more division. 